Hey guys, Reba and Mandy here. Today we're going to show you how to solve rate and ratio problems. Hey Mandy, do you want to tell them our secret weapon? Sure Reba, it's a ratio and proportion graphic organizer. Some people like to call it a box with a tail. That tail's very important, Mandy, because it contains the labels. That's right. Hey guys, and these aren't hashtags. That symbol stands for a number. Let's look at a practice problem. The first thing you need to do is draw your graphic organizer and highlight the important information. And that includes the questions, guys. In this problem, we're told that the ratio of clownfish to angelfish is 4 to 3. We know there are 36 angelfish in the aquarium. Since angel is on the bottom, 36 is in the bottom. We're looking for the number of clownfish. That's right, Mandy, so we'll call this X. Once you have it set up, it's easy to solve. Just think, 3 times what is 36? Uh, 12, Reba. That's right, and so we do 4 times 12 is 48. There are 48 clownfish in the aquarium. See, guys, it's easy. Let's look at this problem with Jason. Draw your graphic organizer and highlight the important information. That includes the question. We see that Jason can assemble eight bicycles in three hours. The other number we know is 120, and since it's bicycles, it will go in the numerator. That's right, Reba. We're looking for the number of hours, which is in the denominator. Remember, we'll call this x. Now think, eight times what is 120? Once you know that, you'll multiply three times that number and get your answer. I know that 8 times 15 is 120, but if you didn't know this, simply do 120 divided by 8. 3 times 15 is 45, so it will take Jason 45 hours to assemble the bicycles. Whew, I'm glad that's Jason and not me. Oh, here's one about my Grandpa Boogie, Reba. He really does only like black and white jelly beans. Draw your graphic organizer and highlight the important information. Remember, this includes the question. Be careful. The ratio they give you is 9 to 16, but that's black jelly beans to total, and the question asks about white jelly beans. So you need to subtract. 16 minus 9 is 7. The ratio of white jelly beans to total is 7 to 16. Remember, we're looking for the possible number of white jelly beans, and we know the basic ratio, but we don't know how many total jelly beans are in the bag. So guys, we're just going to build a ratio table. I'll multiply the denominator and numerator by 2, then by 3, then by 4, and so on. If there's 32 total jelly beans, 14 would be white. But that's not one of our answer choices. Let's keep going. Now I'm multiplying by 3. Keep going. Now I'm multiplying by 4. Out of 64 total jelly beans, 28 would be white. And that's one of our answer choices. Keep going to find the second answer choice. Now I'll multiply by 5. There will be 35 white jelly beans out of a total of 80. That's our second correct answer. Whew! I'm glad we're done. Okay guys, it's your turn. Remember to use the secret weapon.